Hi there, thank you again for downloading the free 15-day software trial. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you are in the third day of your evaluation. So welcome back. This time I'm going to design from scratch a spread footing, a typical footing that supports a steel column on a building or probably supports a mechanical equipment in an industrial plant. This will give you a very good idea how the program works. It will illustrate many of the features. It will show you how easy it is to model your structure in ASDIP. It will also show you how the results are presented and how easy you can optimize your design. Let's get started. If you're designing a footing, most probably you have the reactions from the analysis of your structure. We go to the loads tab. If your reactions are already combined from your analysis program, then you select this option and then you just enter your loads in service and in factor loads. Service will be used for, uh, for the bearing and a factor will be used for the concrete design. If your reactions are not combined, but they are presented as a set of nominal load cases, then you select this option and then you can enter your loads as a dead, live, roof life, snow, wind or seismic load. As if internally will combine these loads per the asset 7 load combinations. In this case, I have entered some loads, dead load 70 kips vertical, live load 50 kips, some wind loads 10 kip vertical and 10 kip feet moments in each direction and 5 kip shear in each direction as well. Let's go now to the geometry tab. Here is where we define the dimensions of the footing and the column. We are modeling a steel column supported on a pedestal. This checkbox is checked. The pedestal height is one foot and a half and the pedestal dimensions are 16 by 16 square. The pedestal is also offset with respect to the center of the footing, 12 inches in each direction. If we go to the graph tab, soil bearing tab, we can see here graphically the footing as we go. The footing is 10 by 8 and the pedestal is off center from the footing. Please note that the loads are applied at the top of the pedestal which means that any horizontal load applied at this location will produce an additional overturning moment on the footing. To illustrate the user interface, let's select a concrete column, then the pedestal option disappears. That means that the loads are now applied at the top of the footing, so no additional overturning moment is created by the action of the horizontal loads. We go back to the steel column option. Let's click on the materials tab. Here we enter the material properties for the footing, for the column, and for the underlying soil. We go to the soil tab. From the soils report, we know that the allowable soil bearing pressure is 3 KSF, and the soil cover density is 110 PCF. Now we have entered all the required information, and we can start uh, checking the results and optimizing the design. As it presents the results in the right pane of your screen, both numerically and graphically. As it presents the results numerically in three different ways, depending on how detailed uh, the results are required. The first and simplest way the results are presented are in the, at a glance tab. This is a summary of the results in just one screen where you can see very quickly if something is failing or uh, if everything is passing. In this particular example, this maximum bearing pressure is failing because has exceeded the allowable bearing pressure so we know exactly where the design is failing and we can now focus on this issue to correct it the second way the results are presented are in the condensed tab we click there the results are presented in a more detailed way they are grouped by uh, topic showing the load combinations and a lot more information than before so you can use this view to follow the design step by step with all the required information exposed. And finally, the third way to present the results are in the detail tab. These results are shown step by step, hand calc type, showing exposed formulas and also references to the ACI code. This is a fantastic resource for reviewers and plan checkers. Finally, as they present the results also graphically, you click on the graph tab. There are several tabs in this view. The soil bearing shows the bearing pressures at the corners of the footing, 
with the controlling load combination and you can sort by load combination as well. The one-way shear tab shows the one-way shear along the beam at a distance D from the column face in each direction. The punching tab shows the punching shear analysis, also can be sorted by load combination. In the bending tab shows the flexure analysis at the column face in each direction, showing the maximum moments. The column tab shows the interaction diagram of the pedestal or concrete column. And finally, the construction tab shows sketches in elevation and in plan view of the design footing with all the rebars. If we go to the at a glance tab, if what you want is to make sure that your design is working and you are not interested in further optimization, then this view at a glance is what you need. We can see that the problem is a very pressure here. If we go to the geometry, we need to increase the size of the footing. If instead of 10 by 8, we specify a 10 by 10 footing, then the bearing pressure now is under the allowable. As you can see, the design of a spread footing in Adlib Foundation is very simple and straightforward. But if you need more information about the software, there are three sources of documentation. One is the help file. You click on the help contents. And this is the help file that is included with the software. Here you can go to the modules, spread footings, and then go to the overview and uh, you know, check out any information that you may need. But if you need even more information, you go to the website and go to the software, go to the ASDIP Foundation in this case. And this is the ASDIP Foundation page. If you scroll down the page, Here is the area that uh, documentation and resources with the user's manual and some verification examples. But if you go to the blog, footing design, this is a collection of the blog post about footing design. Here you can find a lot of good information, different type of footings, examples, and theory with discussions. Thank you for watching. I hope you continue to enjoy your free trial.